Welcome to a special nightly news report. I'm your anchor, Hannah Long. Tonight we're going to take a special look at a local house here in the Harrisonburg area that has been home to students, artists, creatives, as well as a movement, as we now take you to Aaron Carroll with a special look on the historic Crayola House. This is Crayola House, a 20 plus year old landmark of Harrisonburg's alternative music scene. It just gives people that kind of haven't had a place to really burst out, to burst out. The epicenter of the DIY movement. I went to the house to speak with one of its longest running tenants, Reef, yes, that's his real name, about what it's like to live here and the house's importance. What was your first experience with Crayola? My first experience, um, was probably in freshman year. Right. My roommate, now Sam, I lived in the dorm with him and he went to this show. It was Jaguar Dini and somebody else. But I just remember <laughs> Jaguar Dini having a crazy light show and like Ooh. a lot of visuals around. I bought a t shirt. So it was a pretty cool first experience. And I was just like, I like this place. And visual art is a consistent aesthetic in the Crayola house. If you walk in the living room, you're surrounded by a mosaic of art by its tenants and guests, such as paintings, doodles, graffiti and even memes. Nothing is off limits, not even the bathroom. I, there's new stuff I find on a daily basis. And if the bathroom creeps you out a little bit, just wait till you hear about the supernatural history of the house. I mean, this house is 105 years old at this point. Really? Yeah, so there's bound to be some stuff happening. And honestly, I wish we could get some Ian to talk, but there's two ghosts. There's a, there's a woman, okay. and there's a man, uh, small boy. Yeah. And so I've never come in contact with the woman, but I have with small oh and I've heard of a story of a small boy in my room. So basically the guy that lived in my room before he was sleeping and his girlfriend woke up like screaming because she saw uh, like a black figure uh -huh. sitting on like in the corner. Uh -huh. And then they flip on the lights and there's nothing there. And Reef would find out the reality of these stories when he had his own encounter. And then months later into my, you know, living here, I experienced the same thing when I walk in the room and there's a shadowy outline of a boy in the corner and I flip on the lights. So as fast as I can, because, you know, no, <laughs> no thanks. And so, yeah, and it was gone. Luckily, the quote, ghosts aren't harmful and Reef's Crayola living experience is still enjoyable. What's your favorite aspect of living here? Favorite aspect is probably it is never a dull moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's quiet right now, but I don't know. And give it five minutes in business or probably stir up. And it just keeps me on my feet. Maybe give it a show night too. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention when there's a show, it's a great atmosphere. I really like the people that come out. We then went down to Crayola's concert hub, the basement. Normally there'd be like space here for the bands to put their equipment over in that corner. Uh, but most of the show time ends up in here where the bands are facing your audience over there. And that graffiti behind Reef has strong meaning. The name of this house stems from this piece. Um, we don't have an artist's name, but it was done in 09. It wasn't always Crayola, but they changed it to this when this guy came and did it. Because apparently, legend says there was a giant crayon right here that was green, and he just kind of did it around this wall and we've adopted the name. What has being here in this house and being a part of this movement meant to you as a student and as a person? This house means a lot of things. I mean, I call it home. It's where I, my friends hang out. So, just has it as a person, this like. It's just kind of been, I mean, college itself is a transition period. Yeah. But I feel like this has just really shown me how to build or find the community that I like mm -hmm. and that I can thrive in. And that's this whole place has shown me that I don't even have to leave my house to have all your friends by your side. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just uh, allowed me to grow in a more well rounded manner than I would have if I would have stayed in an apartment or something. And the DIY alternative music scene's long-standing tradition of tolerance, respect, and inclusivity has been carried out at Crayola for the past 20 plus years and has made the house a safe haven for many. Because most of the people on the scene are really accepting, you know, just kind of bringing you in, yeah, you're their sure. friend, that's it, end of story, and just 
that's just so comforting and to a lot of people, including myself. You can expect the love, comfort, ghost, and music to continue to rock on at Crayola for 20 plus more years. For Harrisonburg Nightly News, I'm Aaron Carroll. And that's all for tonight. Thank you for watching this special nightly news report. I'm Hannah Long. Good night.